back everybody. Today we're going to be looking at the 1995 GMC Suburban and we're going to be using a Snap-on MT2500 scan tool and go through some diagnostics. So we were very lucky to um, get this Snap-on 2500 diagnostic scanner with the cards already in it for GMC Chrysler Ford Jeep for the onboard diagnostics one. So um, what we have done is we got a case for our tool and I'll go ahead and open it up and show you what we have to work with. The case we got over at Harbor Freight, a little expensive for a Harbor Freight item, but it is a nice imitation Pelican case. So what we have are the ODB1 ports for the uh, various vehicles, the connection wires, the leads for the scan tool itself and extensions. And then of course, we have the scan tool. So there are lots of videos online about this. So I'm gonna go ahead and hook it up to our truck and we'll go through the diagnostics and show you what it will tell us. All right, we have the scan tool hooked up and it's asking us to import the data that is specific for this vehicle. So I'll go ahead and start entering that information and when I come back, we'll be able to scan through all of the different diagnostic tools that this device is capable of showing us. All right, we have the scanner hooked up and it's going through its diagnostic tests and I will scroll through the different menu items so that you can see what data it's showing us for this vehicle. Sorry about the glare, I guess it's just that time of the day. So our scan tool is telling us that right now the desired idle is 913 and it's showing 925. So the motor's not that hot. It's showing at uh, 39 degrees Celsius, 40 degrees Celsius. Do our temperature conversion. We're, let's see, about 32, around 72 degrees Fahrenheit right now. Fuel pump voltage at 13.7, battery charging at 14.1, 14.2. Spark advance at 17 degrees. So as you can see, this scan tool does a lot of uh, information for us, presents a lot of details that we could use. So that's the end of this 
uh, section of the scan tool, but it gives you some basic engine diagnostic info. So here's our current conditions displayed on the dash. Uh, hanging right around uh, 1,000 RPMs. Uh, oil pressure is um, a little bit high, but I can tell you from running this truck, uh, once it warms up, it's gonna hang around 60. And we're still uh, fairly cold in temperature. So what I'm going to do is we can see here the RPMs are uh, 875, 900. So I'm going to take it up to 1500 on the meter and we'll compare it to the dash. Let's see if we can get this to hang around 1500. and we're showing uh, what about 1650 1700 on the dash so we'll hold that uh, try and keep it around 1500 rpm give or take you can see the oxygen exhaust keeps uh, fluctuating between lean and rich percentage is at five. Brake switch is now open. I just applied my foot to the brake. Brake is off. All right, and we've come to the end of our cycle of tests for the engine portion. showing 850 on the RPMs and down here on the dash we're still showing uh, right around a thousand but we're still operating in the cold so um, we'll do another test video at a later date when the engines at operating temperature and we'll see what the numbers look like but I just wanted to show you what the scan tool looks like hooked up to this truck. And um, another cool thing that we had is we lucked into a used radio and CD player. Our old one had a problem where sometimes you go and turn the radio off and you would get a very loud squealing pitch noise through the speakers. And luckily uh, we got this nice uh, 
used replacement and we are good to go with tunes and I know it's kind of dated but I'm just glad to have something that works for our purpose. Take care and thank you much for your time. Hope it was useful.